All right, so here's the Yanmar L70 in the tractor. Um, I, I was able to get the hood to clear. The hood sits about right here, right there, just barely. And then the hood bracket that comes up here, so it comes up, just barely sits like right here with the engine where it is. This is all bolted in. It's not going anywhere. Now, I did have to trim this box, but this is one of the crappier, um, junkier airbox covers I had. That was already kind of broken up top, so I didn't feel bad about breaking it the rest. Um, this thing started up with when the pull start, the pull start was on here. It started up fine and ran great. Um, we've got a new fuel cap. This is a bigger tank. The big um, tank option. Here's the a new fuel, um, what's it called, thing. On my other tractor, this part right here, this valve was leaking. And so what you can do to fix that is you take this whole part out, put it on a drill press, and you drill out that hole that goes in the center a little bit more. Or well, I guess for more fuel flow, and it just makes it more flow better, whatever. Um, and then you take, pull this out, and you take some... JV Weld putty and you put a little bit on there and it patches up this hole and it doesn't leak. Um, I did that same mod on the Sears and it seems to be working great so far. It's not leaking horribly from what I can tell. Um, and I'd probably have to do that mod to it if I had to. Um, But yeah, the tank was originally going to be right in the where the battery is, but change of plans. The tank is where it sits right now. Um, I did have it there because I thought it would be a pain that the tank would sit like right here, and so I wouldn't be able to get a, a fuel fuel my fuel can into it as easy or I couldn't get it in there. Thankfully it sits right there and that's a good spot or I can get to it. So the hood comes up to about right here and then I can come in and fill it up like that. Um, these things use very little fuel. Um, I did, I think these, this, so this is like L70. It's a six and a half horse or 6.4 horse Yan, um, Yanmar diesel. Now for ga diesel to gas horsepower, six horse is about 12 horse gas equivalent. An eight, well, no, eight to 10, 12 horse gas equivalent. Now it is newer and it does have a little more torque um, per pound than that old Kohler did. So, and it's, it uses less fuel, it weighs less, um, and it's simpler. And it's fuel injected. So, a lot of things that are in its favor. Um, I'm still waiting on a pull st another pull star, because the pull star that was on here broke, and it's... I was not happy about that because they're like $60 for at least a decent pull start with shipping and to the door. Um, for those wondering when they, with these pull starts, um, pull starts on these are very crappy. Um, if you get a, a Chinese one, you can get genuine Yanmar ones on eBay, but they're like $100 and just really expensive. Um, you can get ones that are cheaper but they're just not as good. Um, and then you can also see ones that are genuine Yanmar, but they're for the L100. And for those wondering, the L100 pull starts are bigger and a lot bigger in size. Um, it 
would not bolt up to this. Um, I think a pull start for an L60 will fit an L70 because it's the same cowling cover I right hear that I know of. A tank from L40. No. An L60 tank from